Because we love bitches. Tune to this theater. What's up, everybody? It's Brian. Uh, if it looks like I'm in a different place, it's because I'm in, in a different place. Uh, I've been uh, house and cat sitting for a friend of mine, and uh, hopefully things will go relatively <laughs> smooth tonight. If they don't, at least we'll be fucked up and funny. But the Wi-Fi is not hotel Wi-Fi this week, so hopefully things won't go as awry. If things do go awry, they're not going to be as awry as last time. Uh, let me bring on my co-host because I could not do this without him. Matt, what is up, brother? What's up, Brian? How you doing, man? Nice to see you. Nice to see your face, bro. Nice to see you too, man. Uh, I'm kind of hurt, kind of hurting. Like I told you in the back room, I've got this tooth that's like resting against a nerve. I just, oh yeah, and it never bothered me my entire life. And then just like recently. This like I just I, I guess I was grinding my teeth or something like that or biting down on a tooth, and so yeah. I've got this fucking pain. Yeah, it's just brutal. That, like it's not just here because at first you think it's a toothache, yeah. right? And then you're like, oh, it's not the tooth, and it's just fucking radiates like up the side of my head to my ear. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's why I don't have headphones this week is because I was wearing them and it was pushing against right here. Ah, God. <laughs> Go ahead, make it worse, dummy. Keep poking what? there, man. Pops, what are you doing, man? So you just gonna go ahead and poke and prod at it and make it worse? Good plan, bro. Good plan. I know. I know. <laughs> What's I'm happening, done. everybody? Welcome to the whole movie club. You know how we do it. You know what we do. Give your love to Brian and Matt, because without them, this don't happen. Yo. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. And well, much love to everybody out there. Uh, uh, watching this, uh, we really do appreciate you. Uh, you're the reason why we keep chugging along, yeah. and um, hopefully, tonight won't be excruciatingly boring. I know one thing the movie that we're talking about tonight is not excruciatingly boring, right? <laughs> Very far from it, right? It's uh, it's um, Ken Russell's The Lair of the White Worm from 1988. It's like based very loosely on a Bram Stoker story. Okay. Um, how close it is to that, I couldn't tell you. I've never read that story. I've read some other short stories by Bram Stoker, but not never that one. Um, but anyway, Ken Russell, who's a freaking lunatic, uh, made a movie <laughs> uh, of it. Uh, Ken Russell, known as England's Enfant Terrible, you know, uh, terrible child of the cinema like his movies are always very kind of like loud and mischievous uh like you might know him for tommy uh listophobia uh what are some of the other ones he did? oh well the the damned the damned was actually banned in england for like 25 years uh that's a great movie about uh, you know uh the church and supposed witchcraft and I, I never put together that dude in Rocky. Was he her husband? Who was he? And who what? Uh, His mom's husband and Tommy. And Tommy. Oh, I, I forget. I haven't seen that movie since I was a little kid. Come on, man. The pinball wizard, dude, that was good stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I don't remember that shit. I just don't ever feel like uh I need I'm to trying to figure back. out what role he, he was, was really cool when you're like six or seven years old, but so was Ted Nugent. Yeah. Right? <laughs> nice to Uncle Ted. 
He's pretty cool. Oh, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> because, you know why? Because he yeah. shut his mouth off, and then when the fucking feds came came around, he was practically crying. He was like, how dare they? I'm the, I'm the, I'm the Motor City madman. I was like, that was some bitch-made shit. That was some bitch tell me a rock star don't got an ego. Well, they all do. Yeah, but like that... Yeah, I like that. You just haven't, they haven't been. There's gotta be some people who are, who are, who are <laughs> there's gotta be some, but there's gotta be some dudes who were fucking based that are just like, oh shit, this could get dangerous really fast. And they have maybe uh, a, a support system. Like if they're married, they have kids, that sort of a thing that will kind of like uh, root them to the earth, right? Because they still have to go out and take, take out the garbage when they come back from like a, uh, like a stadium tour. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm sure, that, sure there's got to be some people like that. But there's also got to be people that just think they're, you know, fucking uh, like messiahs or something. I, I look I look at <laughs> Ted and I look at Gene Simmons. And and to me, they're the same. Then you Very got Lee Schneider who, you, who wrote a song called We're Not Gonna <laughs> Take It and then told everybody, take the jab. <laughs> yes. They, they, yes. Look, they all flip for money. They flip. They they do whatever yeah. they think is going to help them make money at the time. Yeah. And you can't fault any like of them as they're aging into obscurity to keep trying to be relevant. <laughs> <You know? laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? You want to say hi to everybody? Want to say hi to everybody, Kitty? Good morning. Yeah, he's not really giving me much lap action. Yeah. Although he was, he got a little snuggle with them. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, he's like still pretty young, like practically a kitten. So he's always <laughs> dashing around, and uh, you know, uh, I've been playing with him a lot. Like mostly the "I'm gonna get you" game that you do with yeah. cats, right? Or like "I'm gonna get you," and they're, like, and they're running all over the house, and you're pretending to chase them. Yeah, they fucking love that shit. Uh, I miss I miss having a cat. Uh, gonna be looking at a, at an apartment sometime this week. Oh, nice. In Cornwall, and if that works out, your boy is going to be able to, you know, get some downtime and uh, yeah. and you know begin my descent into becoming a uh, uh, what is it uh, the crazy cat lady? I don't, I'm going to be the crazy cat guy, <laughs> <laughs> right? You're going to be the crazy comic guy pretty soon, man. Like click 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 down yeah, no, um, I mean, stuff, it's, it's not that I haven't been writing. It's yeah, just that it's, it's the uh, the mindset. You have to be in the correct mind state of mind to write sometimes. You know what I mean? You do, you do, you, you do. Know. Yeah, and especially the thing that I'm writing right now, I'm writing for Preston, and yeah. I know what he wants. Yeah. yeah. I want to give him a lot of the shit that I know he's going to have fun drawing. Yeah, yeah. So I know, I know what, like, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going with the story and everything. But it's just, I get, I'm lucky if I get like a page, half a page, something like yeah. that. So you can't force that it, really sucks you know? too. And it has to be like again in the right, the right uh, mood set, and you know, you got to be vibing. You got to be fucking hitting that. Got to be amping. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got to have the ritual. Just, right. Yeah, rituals are cool. You know, it, and. Yeah, man, you're stressed out. And once you get your shit lined up, and and, and, and the way you want it, yes. it's gonna be fucking awesome, dude. Yes, I like I had a major breakthrough when I realized that like I was avoiding writing because every time I sat down, I got horrible anxiety. Yeah, yeah. It's like you have to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. You have to get rid of that, otherwise you're gonna make excuses not to do it. There's that too. Yeah, but you know this is this is a little different. I was gonna tell you, uh, there, there's this guy at work. He was telling me about that Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. Uh, oh my saying, god! Have you played it yet? Or no, no, no. Have heard a lot about it. Yeah, we should do uh, the Week in Horror. Nice. Yeah, he uh, said it was really fun. I was telling him about the uh, Evil Dead game I wanted to get eventually. Hopefully, I've been itching to play that. You know, on PlayStation Four. Um, I don't really play the PlayStation Four, but uh, I mean, every now and then, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Solomon McCain book over here. I've been trying to read. I got fucking just a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to. Oh, yeah, man. Um, and, I don't know. Oh, uh, you're going to have fun with that. Uh, 
Yeah, it's I've been reading some of it, but like not that much. I'm only like a quarter of the way through it. And what I've read so far is just like, oh my god, this is so epic, you know? Yeah, it's it, it's just fucking great stuff. Uh, an interesting thing too is that there's a story that's whoa whoa cosmic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a story that was a fragment. Um, I I forget. It, it's um i forget the name of the story but it's basically about uh solomon kane running into like an evil sadistic uh german baron oh nice nice okay and i'm just like oh right like yeah yeah <laughs> oh what's that gonna be like right yeah. uh pitting him against like that kind of a character um right. somebody really evil and really sadistic and two writers have actually written, like, fl uh, finished that story. Like, oh, okay. one of them was by Joe Lansdale, and I think another one was by Ramsey Campbell, mm, okay. possibly. But it's just like, I find it like there should be like an entire series of uh, comics where like each writer and artist <laughs> does it their way. Well, people yeah, would get yeah. sick of fucking reading that after issue two. Right. I'm, gu I'm guessing. But, uh,. Yeah, let me share our screen because yeah, I have been hearing nothing but great shit about the uh, the uh, um, game, the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Hold on a sec. You let say me... massacre? <laughs> yeah, massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was massacre. Mass 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 <laughs> away from me. I know, right? <laughs> you never heard that song? It's no, a I, baby. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. All right. Let me do this. So, okay. I'm going to actually figure this out and cease boomerang in a moment. Boomerang. Right. Yeah. Well, here's the thing that sounds cool about the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Uh, you know, I was playing, you know, I played Leatherface in uh, Dead by uh, Dead by Daylight. Oh, okay. And that's that's a fun game. And it's interesting because I find when I'm playing a particular character, whether it's Pinhead or um, or what's his face, uh, 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 Michael Myers or, the, you know, The Shape, Freddy Krueger, regardless mm -hmm. of, like, who I'm playing... I find myself actually playing as the character. Yeah, I would be. I'd be going in there fucking fools up. <laughs> yeah, but but you also, be, you know. but, but also, like when somebody unhooks and gets away from me, yeah, rather than you. chasing after them, I'll go into a fit with the chainsaw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sadistic, yeah. It'd be fun yeah. too to play as the the you know the victims as well and try to get away from that shit, you know. Yeah, uh, and uh, Dead by Daylight. Uh, it's a badass poster it, right there. Oh, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. That oh, I'm going to have to get this. It's still in beta, though, isn't it? The game? Yeah. No, it's out, dude. It's out, out. Yeah. i seen, like, a oh, poster wow. of it. Like, they're advertising it on, um, I think, on Instagram, like, two weeks ago. This dude at work was like, yeah, I got the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm like, fuck. That sounds like something I'd like to play. You know what I mean? Like, every... I don't give a fuck about video games really anymore that much. You know what I mean? Like I was all like, yeah. I had a gang of games for like, you know, up till like PS2 and PS3. I was a fucking video game, you know, Stan. And then um, for the games yeah. that I liked that were fucking metal as fuck, everything's got to be metal as fuck with me. Um, so right. Uh, and then four came out, and I got God of War, and um, I, I got Witcher three. I haven't played that yet. I, um, and I just, yeah, I, I kept putting that off. I don't have time. Evil yeah. Dead came out, and that's my favorite IP, and I still didn't get that but this sounds like interesting you know i've never played something like that it's also from i think the makers of the friday the 13th game and uh i heard that game was pretty uh, good too as well um good. interesting because i know that was a hit and i noticed that you, you can't get jason Voorhees in uh dead by daylight oh that sucks and now in dead by daylight you there's like five players four are playing of uh, victims mm. right and you and one person is playing uh, the killer, uh, and the killer's going around and grabbing, you know, fucking people up and then hanging them on yeah. meat hooks so they can be absorbed by this thing called the entity, right? Yeah. Uh, this is different 
because I think this is up to eight players. Mm. Because you play the you play uh, not only as the victims, not only as Leatherface, but also his fucking uh, uncle and the fucking hitchhiker. Mm. So you get to play cool. the Sawyers. Oh, okay. So a, right, and I think the game when you start out, you are in like the basement. Wow. Like they've locked you up, and then you've got yeah. to like manage to like find a way out, sneak away, that kind of a thing. Um, I don't know, like I don't know the details, but I'm buying this, man. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a, a interesting like playthrough, you know. Well, definitely. Like, Fuck. You know. And that's great art, by the way. Yeah, I guess I guess um, they're they were gonna try to make a, a remake, like one more Freddy movie too. Did you hear about that? No. But um, yeah, and they, they finally like some someone hit up England like in like two months ago, and he's like, "No, nah, I'm done. I'm not gonna do it." You know. Okay. Okay. You you know what? C- he said I'm too him. old and, and thick to play Freddy now. I just can't do the fight scenes um for more than one tank anymore. I've got a bad neck and a bad back, and arthritis is in my uh, right wrist, so I have to hang it up. Uh, but I would love to do cameo. Like, right, right, that's right. What he said. I, I think I think it, it's also healthy to know when to like step away. Yeah. Right. And it's exit. One of those characters, though, man, like where, where, where they could keep casting him. Unfortunately, you know what I mean. Like he's he's like yeah. he's like he's like a Dracula or like those those slashers were like. That that era is like Universal Monsters, even though they were on different film studios. You know what I mean? Yeah, and very, very, very different in style. Uh, yeah, you know, but as far uh, as the remakeability factor, they're gonna be they're gonna keep remaking those shits forever. Like Jason, Freddy, Michael Myers, Leatherface. Oh, they're around to stay. Um, they're they're not going anywhere. Stay. They're gonna keep remaking. They're not going, that. Yeah, they're, they're not going anywhere. And Look at uh, that werewolf. Speaking, yeah, that's a pretty. Uh, looks a little, little bit like a rubber mask to me. No rubbery there. Looks like the nose got cut off. Too. Almost it's actually oh, supposed no, to be. It's a pug nose, maybe. Mask. Yeah. It's de- it's it's definitely of the of the pug variety, but yeah. Let me see if I can find the the other thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, New World Dead game. Uh. John Carpenter is doing this thing called Suburban Screams. Hmm. So, John Carpenter, I kind of feel like oh. John Carpenter maybe is at the point where he should give it up and not damage his legacy, hmm. right? Uh, because it's just like how many how many shit movies has he made? Like two, right? Hmm. Three yeah. maybe if you're going to include uh, uh, Memoirs of an of an Invisible Man. But he made like ten awesome movies. Yeah, and you know, I think once you start getting to a point where, like, like the last thing they hit that he did, the thing with uh, Amber Turd. Yeah, uh, uh, was it the okay. Ward? Yeah, the Ward. Yeah, I've seen that. Perfectly was... fine. Yeah, it's perfect... all right. Yeah, I mean, but like Ghosts like, of yeah. Mars, Escape from L.A., like that's when I started thinking, like, oh, uh, maybe it's time. And because I've always gotten the sense that he kind of realized that because, you know, he and Dario Argento, Romero, Cronenberg, uh, 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 fucking Toby Hooper, they all knew each other. Right. Right. They would meet for dinner. Yeah. And, um, you, you know, all the like all the great horror directors from fucking North America in one fucking place. And, uh, you know, he would say that, yeah, you know, Dario Argento. Like, we've lost him and we're not getting him back. And now Dario Argento has made more shit movies than good movies. And what's up, Doc? What's up, man? Yo! How's everybody doing? What is up, Preston? Good to see you, my friend. <clears throat> oh, he the shot Lair me. The of the White Worm. Yes. I've seen that movie before when I was a, when I was a kid. Not, you know, the best part about this show is that it's bringing back all these old memories of all these movies I've seen, but oh, completely nice. fucking forgot about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool, yeah. man. I haven't seen any yeah. of them, so I'm just like, oh, this is fucking dope. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. No, most of them I haven't seen. Holy shit, dude! Yeah. Oh, check out that John Carpenter shit, though, bro. That shit looks interesting, but, though. It looks like it's like a bunch of five stories all tied together, kind of. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Right. Favorite. And I, yeah, I it, it, look, it looks like an anthology series, mm -hmm. uh, which is, which is cool, which is cool. Um, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. It's just, uh, what can I say? I'm just feeling very cautious when it yeah. comes to getting my hopes up for like new John Carpenter. I think it'll probably be pretty good. Like, um, if he's like stamping his, you know, name on it again, it might be decent. He hasn't done what are we, in a while. What are we talking about? What is what is he putting out? Like, John Carpenter's coming okay. back. Okay. John Carpenter's. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find. Let me try and share my screen. Screen share is canceled. Make sure you click share on the, on the modal. And he's, not been, he's just been touring, I'll playing his music, uh, smoking dope, playing his music and shit, chilling. You know, so he's probably like down to do something a little different. You know, make some scary shit. Hopefully. Right. Because that was what he was doing, it seemed, mm -hmm. was that he was like, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to give up on the filmmaking, and people are all about my music. There's an entire genre yeah. of music now that's basically based on, like, me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I and had no idea John Carpenter played music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had no really? idea he played really? music. Yeah. I swear to God. Oh, yeah. He's that's why I love yeah, it. You have to look it up, dude. <laughs> It's just dope. He scored yeah. every movie. He scored pretty much every movie he ever made except for The Thing, which was scored by the legendary Ennio Morricone. You know, which is Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and all those great spaghetti westerns. And it didn't sound like Morricone. Morricone basically wrote that music and composed it so that it's like sounds like John Carpenter. That's funny. That's funny, dude. I, I, I like it the is. Big Trouble little China song that he Big Trouble. The other Big two Trouble. Guy. It's like his pop, his pop yeah. shit, you know. Him, him, and uh, him and Robert Rodriguez are the only two guys I can think of off the top of my head that actually like, like play their own music. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, like Robert Rod Rodriguez. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he's a badass. You know, we There's always that. Are you guys getting audio on this? Yeah, I am. His body bags was aight. There's a couple of good ones. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, it said, based on six terrifying true stories. Oh, see, and that's something he's doing different. You know what I mean? So he's done the anthology. He did body bags. And I liked his Crypt Keeper that worked in the morgue. You know, or at least for like, you know. Yeah, yes. different. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, this, is different. this is different. It's based on true shit, you know? And yeah, mind you, you know, whenever you see based on a true story, it's like couldn't be more further removed yeah. from the truth. I yeah, actually at one point was toying with the idea with Six Gun Gorilla saying based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> I would have totally did that. Maybe for the for the uh, omnibus. Yeah, yeah. We should do that with the Iron Maiden version of uh, Six Gun Gorilla when we do the yeah. French future version. We'll be like based on a true story. That yeah, yeah, that'd be dope. Yet. <laughs> this, this this scary thing about fucking uh six five six like a dead stop is that some of those stories i think are true oh yeah they are yeah i haven't read those shit I read that shit yet i'm going to though i'm gonna be reading that pretty soon actually <laughs> Uh, eh, you know, I mean, like, I'm not. A... It looks interesting. It looks like you know what? It looks like unsolved mysteries mixed with some John Carpenter stuff. <laughs> I'll, I'll check it out. You know. Um, well, in other news, Hulu is uh, going to be re-releasing uh, Werewolf by Night in color, hmm. which oh, really? I give zero fucks about because. That's a movie's a piece of shit. It's an insult. Talking about the black and white Marvel movie. The yes. Oh god, that was horrible. Man. Yeah, horrible, <laughs> man. horrible. That's right. That's like, right. like man thing, they just turned into uh, Groot. <laughs> right, the man yeah, thing's dude. mindless. Mindless. And look beast. at the shit yeah. werewolf design. He has, he's covered in hair except for his face and his hands. You know, with Man Thing, I was wondering how they were going to pull that off because it's yeah. not like, like he's actually he's just a, a male he's violent a walking... entity. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's mindless. Yeah, that's scary, right. dude. You know, like you'd have scary. to do like a Twilight Zone or something like that with Man Thing. Yeah. You can't just do like Man Thing. You know, <laughs> right? 
Right. But in, in the story, Jack Russell is infiltrating this uh, group of monster hunters, the special ceremony that they have every year. And the man thing, I guess, is like the monster that they're supposed to hunt and destroy. And whoever uh, destroys the monster gets some kind of, uh, I don't know, gets a cookie or something, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not going to give shit away just to be giving shit away. Uh, but, yeah, I just this I point, thought, it shit, I thought it was shit. I don't yeah. think putting it in color is going to be uh, any better. They At botched this point, up. anything they put out is just garbage. You anything know? they put out like, is garbage. I won't even watch anything, it, dude. Yeah, dude. Period. I haven't watched like, any of the Marvel movies since, like, fuck, I can't remember. I think it was Endgame was the last one I watched. I mean, I, I dude, watched... Well, uh, Secret Invasion is, like, the cheapest goddamn thing I've ever seen before in my life. Like, it was... <laughs> I, I couldn't even I, get through I, the first episode. I've heard that's fucked up. I heard that's a special oh, kind of fucked up. I heard that's a oh, special was, kind of fucked up. It was totally. I watched Moon Knight. This was the last thing I think I watched. Mm. It was this. pretty good, but they even kind of screwed that up. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like, There's 15 yeah. minutes of Moon Knight in fucking yeah, like yeah. eight episodes. There's like less than 15 minutes, maybe about 10 minutes yeah. of fucking Moon Knight. <laughs> yeah, Bait and yeah. switch, man. Bait and switch is what they did with that one. Um, and um, Oscar Isaacs, I think, is fucking you know, a phenomenal actor. He's the one yeah, that actually did. Oh, he's insane, dude. Yeah, he's yeah, very good. He's really good. Yeah. Um, I didn't, you know, what can I say? Uh, if you had told me when I was a little kid that uh, one day I would grow up and there would be no a hair. werewolf yeah. by night TV, <laughs> but there would be a werewolf by night TV show, that there would be a Morbius the Living Vampire movie. Oh, I would have fucking, fucking lost my shit. I would have had an orgasm right, right there. Balls dropped, <laughs> everything just. <laughs> and I'm talking like, you know, not me just going, nah, like, oh, no, nah, that'll never happen. But having like proof, like future me, looks like, you know, doing a Kang and going in the past and going, here, look at all this shit. <laughs> if you would have told me that when I was a kid, it would have totally yeah. fucked my whole life up. Because I would have right. just been sitting there with my like turning blue just in, in t- anticipation <laughs> of all these movies coming out. You know what I'm saying? And then you would wait like fucking 30, 40 years and it comes yeah. out and shit. Yeah, you guys see like, the trailer for Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, the Morbius movie, I, I, I I'm not I can't fucking watch that shit. Dude, dude I, I, I had me. such high hopes for that movie. And it just they I just didn't. trashed it, dude. What the hell Jared Leto was involved? I was out. You well, guys I, the I was in Predator? Which oh, one? The, the trailer for um, Thanksgiving? No, i never seen it. It oh, looks interesting. Yeah. It's a slasher. Oh, it's, it's like, like a, a new Eli Roth like a, jam. He's like a pilgrim um, slasher on Thanksgiving, you know? That, that sounds cool, actually. I like yeah. the uh, violent Santa Claus movie they put out. Oh, I know. I want to see that, dude. Yeah, dude, that was right. brutal. I, I loved it, dude. I wanted to watch it. I, I yeah, missed it. Um, I had a chance. I just never got around to watch it. With but. the dude from uh, Stranger Things, the cop from Stranger Things. It was yes, like, also Hell, he played uh, Hellboy. Hellboy. Yeah, yeah, he was he was great, dude. Like that was a dope a Hellboy. really good movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic actor, uh, David yeah. Harbour. Uh, also, other, other news: uh, Strange Science and Trans Narratives and Horror Comics. Max Visaggio, who I'm sure you're aware of, is back <laughs> and now uh, writing horror comics. Oh, I was so hoping for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just made my dreams defense. come true. Oh, man. <laughs> that was such a bad day till you told me that. This look, is- look. You, you know, you know, you know me. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with, with trans people and all that shit. It's all, it's all good. But something like Matt, like trans, this has nothing to do with trans. This has everything to do with talent. <laughs> Dude, this is what her fifth tr- like shot. Usually, like you're lucky if you get one. Exactly. And it's just like she gets hired and she bombs. She gets hired and she bombs. She gets hired and she bombs over like. like like literally, like four times. Uh, she had a TV series, Vagabond Queen, fucking bomb. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, dude. Oh, just, nobody saw just, that they, shit. They need and, that narrative push, bro. That's why you know. It's, yeah, but it's, uh, it's failing how much work, money but... are they going to lose on one person? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm sure there's it, other trans people out there with actual talent. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, yeah. Yes. 
Thank you. You know, you know, you know, you know what I mean? please, if you're, if, if you're out there and yeah. you're listening, do exactly. Something. Brian's <laughs> looking for work. <laughs> I sure am. Uh, <laughs> about that. What up, Shadowhawk? Good to see up, you. Shadow? How you doing, bro? No, seriously. Yeah, no, we're just bitching about Max Visaggio, how she's like on her like fifth Failing try. Upwards. Whoa, Nobody gets go. this many shots. <laughs> I guarantee you she cast a spell or something like that. She has to have a monkey paw out like somewhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I know, oh, like, <laughs> your boy Zach, your boy Zach said that he knows people who are in the industry, right? Like, you know, yeah, people yeah, that, that are that are snitches. And it'll, like, let him know what's going on. Um, and he asked this guy, like, why do they keep hiring Max Visaggio? And his friend said, because the, it makes the editors feel good about themselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I got I to gotta be honest. Like, I'm, I'm not really on your boy Zach's team anymore after Matt I told understand. me that he's champion, like, AI art. He, well, look, <laughs> he took fucking two years to fucking put out fucking one issue of fucking jawbreakers that offends me when i'm fucking you know busted like at least two a year hopefully do you know and i don't have the fucking resources that that motherfucker has no you don't well, yeah that's true but and then there was the mark wade thing and where you know i uh, always felt sh- wrong about that mark wade thing i'm sorry dude something just felt weird about that like how it, he should have given that money that. back or given it to charity or well, right? it got resolved, like, just instantly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, oh. okay, we milked this while we could. Let's, let's just put it to bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did, didn't I did not weird send him you? money. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't do that. I did, I, I did not send him money. But I have a feeling that the people who did, that they... Um, I forgot about that. Just, because weren't they thinking, like, hey, wait a second. We yeah. Yeah. Money, not just to protect yourself, but to basically set a court precedent. Dude, I, I completely forgot about that. Like he had, not to do this. He had like like a hundred thousand or more, right? In yeah. in his funds when he decided that you know this whole situation was done. Like greasy man. Greasy. Did anybody hear what happened at? I mean, look, I don't like to dig into other people's pockets, but I'm saying like that is right, right. weird. You know what I'm saying? Like it is. It I don't is. Know. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. So I mean, but there's also no question. Uh, say what you like about him. There's, there's no question that he's the guy that got this whole dough ball rolling. He's the yep. reason why we all found each other. Well, yeah, him and, is him it him Ethan. or is it Ethan? Both of them. It was him. Oh, it's him. But yeah, yeah. But more, way more. Uh, it's him and Ethan. But it's but it's like mostly your boy Zach. I would give okay. it like seventy five, twenty five, in like your boy Zach's favor. Uh, and, and look, and look, he's killing it. He's, uh, putting out fucking comics, like, on the reg. No, he's, the running, he's running a business. I'd still buy his books. It's just, you know, I can't buy all the, like, I used to back anymore, you know? I like, I like his shit because it's got the fucking, um, like, the military edge to it. And I, yeah. I don't know, like, the G.I. Right, Joe, right, every, right. everything, it's all got the G.I. Joe edge to it, you know? Um, he does yeah, put like, out like decent books. I will say that. You know like, what? He, he definitely yeah, puts out I like, I like his shit, dude. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. you know. Everyone's human, you know, and um, I'm a firm believer in like, political, chances, you know. You know? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. look, I still watch this stuff, movie? but, you know, shit happens. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's it's just like when people, it's like I can understand people getting upset, but then don't start treating the guy like he's an axe murderer. Right? Yeah. You have to take shit, uh, you know, uh, you know, j- judge <laughs> accordingly. Right. <laughs> right? Dude, it's, this you movie, know, uh, the, like, yeah, you told me it was it was a, a story by Bram Stoker. Yes, I was when I was watching. I was like, "Damn, dude, there's some sim- similarities between this and Dracula, bro." You sure are. Aren't that, they? I was watching it with my wife, and I was like, "Damn, dude, she's kind of like like um like like Drac a little bit, like a little bit of Madame Bathory, a little bit." We're of talking other... about Madame. Oh. I mean, a uh, layer of white worm. Yeah, yes. yeah, and yeah. the one and only, the scrumptious. Fucking Amanda oh. Donahoe. Holy Camilla, dude. That was the other one. Like, a lot of that shit. stuff reminded me I of I did that. notice one thing. Like, towards the end of the movie, you remember, like, she was about to bang that chick with sac- ceremonial. Yeah. She, had the big well, old, yeah, she lifted her arms spread. like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big old, like, she, fucking buckwheats underneath. She, oh, yeah, yeah. She had, like. like whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I was like, what the like fuck? Like a full. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, 
it didn't bother me. Didn't bother me. <laughs> no, it didn't bother me either. I just thought it was funny. I think, yeah, yeah, just, just I think Harry Leg might be a turnoff for me, but uh, I like Bush. I don't think that, yeah. you know, getting rid of Bush was the, entirely was the solution. Just fucking do a little landscaping, you know? I like that. that, that no, no, I'm, I'm totally thing. into it. I'm just saying. Like, I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, just, just talking shit. It was a reflection of the times, <laughs> I guess. I, that poster, I, I remember that poster. I remember this movie in the fucking video store. And I always thought it was like a like a fucking mambo fucking like latin movie or some shit the one where she's coming up out of the out of the thing you know dude i yeah, remember yeah, yeah. seeing this on tv <laughs> like i'm being serious like back in the day when you had like like six channels you could watch right well you also had the, the what was the uf uf ufh channels like the channel 26 channel 38 like the indie yeah. channels that you know and this movie came on one of those channels dude i watched it you know yeah, I mean, it's from 88, and it was also uh, direct-to-video. I don't know oh, okay. if it played cinemas, but it was produced by Vestron, which is a video company. And yeah. one of the trailers that I've seen shows, like, a camera going through a, a video store showing you what, we, what new Vestron pictures to check out. Mm. So uh, I think Ken Russell was pretty much at the end of his career when he mm. made this. And I liked so it. I what was that? Uh, it was very psychedelic. Like a very oh my god, part, dude, you know? he did very that Altered he, I mean, th that's the movie of his that I forgot to mention. Altered State. Oh, okay. I remember Stays. that one too. Yeah, that one was good. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Altered State. Uh, Ken Russell, best known for Altered States. Uh, that, that's that's his most mainstream movie for sure. Saw that in the theater when it first came out. Um, what else? <laughs> hey, Kitty. Uh, he's getting all wild up now. Yeah, gothic, um, right? Uh, gothic. Uh, what else am I thinking? I, I, I lost my train of thought because of this little motherfucker. Um, <laughs> oh, you got a new cat? Oh, yeah, no, Ken Russell. Uh, no, no, it's all, I'm, I'm cat sitting. Oh, I'm thinking okay. of a friend's cat. All right, Ken Russell. Uh, Altered States, uh, Tommy. Uh, trying to think. Because I can list off a bunch of other movies that he's done, like Salome. And uh, uh, listophobia, and um, but you wouldn't uh, be aware of, the, of, of those probably because they've never been in video stores, they've never been on TV, right? They're obscure, like I've never seen them. Uh, but the Devils ca caused a real fuss. Like I said, that was banned in England for like twenty five years. Which one? The Damned. Oh, the Damned. I haven't, seen that. I haven't seen that. We got to check that out. It's a must see. It's a must see. It's not a it's not a horror movie, oh, okay. but it inspired an entire slew of image of like cheap, sleazy, tawdry Italian um, hmm. uh, 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 ripoffs. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, and you know me. Uh, you know, I I, I love I I I will take a shitty Italian movie from that period over uh, like anything that's in the theaters. Right. Now. Yeah. No, you're gonna it's be interested. Yeah, hundred percent. I would take any movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take uh, Sorry. any movie. Yeah. Yeah. So this has, of of course, a very you young you Grant, and also if you, I don't Doctor know if you can Who, recognize right? the. Uh, no, the no, he wasn't Doctor Who. He it's, was, uh, uh, but he was really Peter good Capaldi. in the movie, dude. Yeah. Uh, Peter Capaldi, the guy on the right. Uh, went on to be like uh, a recent Doctor Who. Was he really? I yeah. never knew yeah. that. Didn't you Grant do his nanny or something? He did a bunch of people. No, he did it. He did a ho ho ho. And he was married to Elizabeth Hurley. I think he did the babysitter. I think he did the babysitter. I do. I think he did the babysitter. Man, you know, you're talking. Arnold, it was the, it was the maid. Uh, but he had been he had a reputation for being naughty. It yeah. wasn't the fact that he was fucking around. It's uh, the fact no, that he, he got caught in a brothel. Yeah. yeah, that's you know uh, because everybody else says that the relationship that he had with um, why am I blanking on her name? Smoking hot. Uh, yeah, the Hurley. Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley. That you know she knew what the deal was. Right. Right. That that he's supposedly one of those guys where he's like, look, I'm just not really about monogamy. 
right? And just honest about it, letting people know so they can make the decision whether or not they want to get into that relationship. Yeah. Well, also, but, like he was uh, like where he's from, it's legal to go ahead and go into a brothel. Like it wasn't, and he came to the States and he did it and he got busted. Because <laughs> oh. I remember when that happened. Like it was, uh, it was a big thing, and you know, it was like, dude, it's legal where I'm from. Like, I always thought we should bring <laughs> Doberman. Is that a Doberman? That's a Doberman. What is? Yeah, I got a Doberman. Yeah, yeah, it's Loki. Loki. It's Loki, it's Loki little, little oh. camera shy. Oh, nice. Oh, there he is. Can never get his ears to stand up. Aww. <laughs> These guys are badasses, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. think? You would think they are. <laughs> yeah, you think they are. <laughs> they're not. They're not as bad as you think they are. <laughs> Well, they have to well, be trained like, to kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's kind of like uh, Rottweilers, right? Yeah. If oh, they yeah, wanted yeah. to, they could fucking take your head off like that. Yeah. They're all muscle. Yeah, but they're yeah, just dude. like big, dopey, friendly dogs. Exactly. Yeah. He's like a huge chihuahua without the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, except they don't bite you in the ankles. They bite you in the nuts. Right? I'll tell you oh, what, yeah. when that fucker was a, <laughs> when he was a puppy... I was walking through the living room and he came up behind me and he actually pinched me with his front teeth on the back Ooh. of the leg. I like Damn. to kill this son of a bitch. Shit. That, that shit hurt. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Fucking uh, this movie, well, man, uh, uh, for me, it, it kind of had like a little David Lynch feel to it, like a little Lynchian in some spots. A little bit. Know? Yeah. Um, well, that has to do with the year also. Um, yeah, probably. About right. 1988 yeah. to like 1994. Five, I want to say that was yeah. the golden age of art house cinema. Right, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Like this, for instance, no, it's horror, know. but it's at, it's art house horror. That's yeah. Emma yeah. Films, right. right? And when it's done right, it's fucking awesome because it's decadent. This and one's definitely done right. Is is that Emma yeah. Sam's? No, no, no. Who that is, is the lovely Amanda Donahoe. Oh just look, just my fucking Sam. god. Look at the fucking uh, uh, thigh high uh, leather uh, F me boots. Her <laughs> outfits in this insane. whole movie were fucking insane. Like they were fucking really insane. Good. That's the poster right there. Yeah, that's the one where I was like, "Oh, is that like a fucking like?" I thought it was like a Latin movie, dude, or some shit. I don't know why. <laughs> it just had like a weird feel to it. But I remember that as a kid. I remember seeing that at, at, at Blockbuster. Um, yeah, this, this of course is a shot that taken from uh, one of the more memorable scenes in the movie. Yeah, where yeah. Uh, he gets out of a uh, basket, right? Because there's uh, Lou Grant has his speakers on top of his house playing like a snake charmer song. Yeah. And Ken Russell told her, slither across the room. <laughs> and she's like, well, how do I do that? And he's just like, you'll figure it out. And so she <laughs> did like, this really weird fucking, <laughs> this really weird walk that's just amazing. Dude, I'll um, tell you that that cop with the lazy eye, he was oh, yeah, the creepiest. Yeah. He was the creepiest he one was, in that He was pretty movie. creepy. Yeah. He was pretty creepy. I, I think this movie though, man, like the like I'd like to read the Bram Stoker's like adaptation. I think there's a lot more potential in the story, bro. Like, oh man. I, I thought it, I mean the movie was pretty cool, dude, but like, dude, like it, it, it was basically like these serpentine vampires, you know? Yeah. And she yeah. she's kinda like she's kinda like Dracula. She's like she's kinda like um like Camilla a little bit, you know? Um I don't know, man. Yeah, I like the but whole, also like, St. George and the Dragon. jet setting, yeah. like kind of like a Euro trash thing, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, latest fashions, driving a really cool sports car. Yeah, her Banging kids in this movie <laughs> yeah. are many. Um, originally, uh, she wasn't cast in this. Uh, I believe that Ken Russell wanted Tilda Swinton. Okay. Because she's been in a lot of art house movies. Yeah, um, she's a little, she's a little manly though. I, I, um, yeah, I mean, look, I look, I think she's hot, I think right? I went with the right choice personally. But um, I no, yeah, no, absolutely. Amanda Donahoe is a thousand times better than she would have. <laughs> but um, oh, nah, dude, I think it's cool, man. I, I can't really think of any other, um, like, you know, this. Like, like basically like a snake pyre, dude. A fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like before this, was there another story that you could think of off the top of your head? Um, I mean, yeah. for Howard, Howard, I'm sure there's a Conan story like this because there's a lot of there was a movie. Well, there's you know. a temple of set. Yeah, well, there's that movie. You remember that movie where the guy's uh, the guy's hand turns into a cobra? Mm, no, you remember no. that? Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the movie, like his whole body turns into like a snake. 
you mm-hmm. know it was an old old movie well, it's probably oh, on Tubi. i know the one you're talking about it was a uh, tv movie it was it was called like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. he kept his hand like bandaged up throughout the whole movie and then towards the end it started doing crazy shit like that and then his, he's he like took the badge off and it was the, the head of a snake i got yeah. five kids to feed. <laughs> I think he, I think he got bit on a hand or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember what happened. I like, forget. I haven't seen that movie in shit like 30, 35 years at least. Oh, it was a crazy um, ass movie. But they used to show it on TV nuts. pretty frequently. Yeah, um, whoever made that movie was definitely doing the shrooms or something back in the day. <laughs> they were definitely fucked up. Well, you know, I think a lot of the people that make fucked up art art are actually teetotalers. Right? Like David Cronenberg. Of course, he always gets asked about drugs. And he's like, you know what? Never touched them. Uh, one time I was drunk, right? I, dr- I drank a couple of drinks and I didn't like the feeling. And so I just basically was waiting until the feeling went away and it never had a drop since. Mm. Right? Uh, Salvador Dali, when he was asked, said, I do not take drugs. I am drugs. I am the drug. <laughs> oh, I am the yeah. alcohol. Uh, yeah, no, but that's not to say that, you know, uh, uh, a lot of uh, really great artists have been known to imbibe. <laughs> it's certainly the uh, the surrealists. And this is just very, uh, very crazy, very out of control. Uh, Russell said that he wanted to, to basically direct this movie as mm-hmm. if, it was directed by Oscar Wilde. Hmm. I think that tells you a lot. Oscar Wilde, well, of course, uh, you know, best known for um, the portrait of um, the uh, portrait of Dorian Gray, hmm. and uh, the importance of being earnest. Uh, you know, uh, you know, very much a decadent aesthetic. Um, I don't. I don't know. Who, I don't know that this would be the movie that he made, but it's certainly made with a little bit of that spirit. It's tongue in cheek, and you know me. I don't really like comedy in my horror movies. Like yeah. to the point where they just they stop being horror movies and they're just comedies, like Evil Dead Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this fucking worked for me. Yeah. No. It, it, they did it right. I mean, I think. I think. Um. I think you got to have the comedy in there. Um. For sure. Like for, for me, like I think it just helps uh balance out everything. You gotta have those peaks and valleys and when the scares hit, they hit harder because you've been set up for the pitch already a la right. comedy. Right, you know. Um another thing I liked in here was a lot of like the Saint George references. I believe that's what it was, you know. Yeah, and, for and sure. The location. Again, yeah. Just telling the lady, like, look at that fucking location, man. That looks like majestic. Like right when the movie opens up, you know, right there should be. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that just looks like yeah. there's a fucking worm coming out of there. Um right. Right. And of course, uh, as you Grant's character points out in this, worm isn't intended to be taken literally. Right. No, worm no. Yeah. doesn't mean just like earthworm. It means like uh, that's what they used to call dragons. Exactly. Yeah. Especially like Norse mythology, too. Um, like the root yeah. or the, 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 the space worm, which was um, a Nidhogg. You know what I mean? And he's he's yes. like an unsung. Um, he's not very that he's not really that popular. Uh, like, in, well, he's the, guy who, like, he's like, the one who killed Thor, right? No, he's not. That's a uh, your 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 commander. Oh, your, your oh, commander. Well, Beowulf yeah. gets killed. Beowulf gets killed by the dragon. Um, no, um, Thor, Thor, uh, that's just a different dragon. They're two different ones. Right. Um, Nidhogg is the one that's like the he's the one that gnaws on the roots of Yggdrasil, and then um, uh, Jormander is the one that Thor fights in Ragnarok, and he circles around the planet. So they're two different ones. <laughs> you know, but they call, the they, they call him the. They call him the worm, the space worm. Let's just say I might be fucking around with that fool and something that I'm working on. Um, uh, so I am looking forward to Hell War, of course. That <laughs> magnum opus that you're working on. Uh, yeah. Can't wait, to, you know, uh, help out with that in any way, shape, or form. Fuck yeah, uh, me too. I'm totally in. Did you did you see that Scandinavian uh, TV show called Ragnarok? I started watching it, man, but I I kind of I kind of dropped off. I got rid of the I got rid of dude. The it gets good. It gets yeah. really good. <laughs> like There's I heard so about the ending. Yeah, you keep up with everything. It's, like yeah, they tried hard. to squeeze in a little wokeness, you know, but yeah. it's 
it, it never hurt the program. You know Dude, what I'm saying? If like, you saw it, that, it really Brian did. Brian um, recommended this movie to me, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and it's very similar. It's called um, Mortal. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen it. Is that the one where the guy's the son of Thor? Yeah, like the descendant. And then yeah. at the end, he, uh, he, he, like, they tried to snipe him, but they yeah. Killed, yeah. kill his girlfriend yeah. instead. Yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. yeah that, that shit was, was dope. Amazing yeah. ending. Amazing, amazing, amazing ending. Uh, I don't want to see a sequel to that. No. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> yeah. It's, kind of it's weird, so good. You know? uh, yeah, see, I, I, I had a feeling you would enjoy that, Matt. I had a feeling. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's it's, yeah, it's great. Awesome, because I, you know, I mean, you you haven't liked everything that we've that we've had here. Uh, neither has Pops or uh, some other folks. Uh, Peter Gilmore, when we had him on, we did uh, 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 Hands of the Ripper, yeah. which is a which is I think brilliant and like nobody enjoyed it <laughs> but it's just like okay you know uh my uh my hits and miss ratio is still pretty good i think oh yeah yeah like on this one like some of these scenes like the psychedelic scenes while i you know they're they're art housey and whatnot something about them like and they're very like 90s you know what i mean like i think if oh yeah it could be done a little different like if i was to do this movie i'd film a little bit like for me it's very like looking straight at you you know like wes anderson kind of framing you know like this one right here that we're staring at you know um did you guys did you guys do life force yet what's that oh no we haven't yeah uh oh, actually oh, i've been no, saving no. that for when adam lawson wants to come on because he loves that movie life force is like the best movie fucking ever dude. damn i gotta see that <laughs> saw it when it first came out in the theater cosmic right? vampires dude oh that's space so vampires <laughs> yeah okay. space vampires and like the spaceship is the, the 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 shuttle that comes back to Earth. That's like the Demeter. Yeah, mm, right. Dude, and is... Then Harker is really like a guy, like an astronaut. Oh wow! That's we amazing. should do a Discord and watch it together. I'm telling yeah, you, right? yeah. greatest thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Once I get settled, dude, I want to start doing that shit. I know, like '80s, for instance. Uh, '80s made like he he'll, he'll actually uh, run movies through an app. Uh, where we can just like hang out and fucking uh, watch it like in real time. People can watch us watching it. <laughs> yep. I think I'd be honest, like, why would somebody do that? And I'm like, oh, that's right. Twitch is a thing. People watch other people playing video games. Yeah. So you never know. Let's take a look, little look at the uh, at the trailer here. My favorite part. Mom. Yeah, that was Sammy Davis as the uh, as the young lady as the young lady. Oh boy, Hugh Jack or was it Hugh Grant? He fucked her up. Something's been found in Stone Rig Cavern. Legend has it that Stone Rig Cavern. Isn't that an amazing location? I was gonna say that sword, dude. When Hugh goes to town on her. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna, oh, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. we're gonna. I got that on video, dude. We're gonna watch, we're gonna watch that fucking clip. Was the lair of the Dampton Worm? My God! <laughs> yeah. Some of the backgrounds remind me of the Van of the Yeah. Um. This is uh, very much an ancient evil has been awakened. Yeah, this is one of those stories that fits into the type of. Uh, one of one of the um, uh, uh, tropes of the people digging up shit that they should leave buried. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. the, and again, that's her coming out of her out of her coffin or coffin. Like the, 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 of the victim appears to be afflicted by a form of vampirism. I hear you're having trouble with a snake. Oh, I can tell that this is like Snakes a newer trailer. Nice. This is definitely a newer trailer because it's it's making um, you grant the star, mm. and he was not like a star when this was made. Ah, and you're going to uphold family tradition and slay the beastie. Are you out of your mind? He did steal the show, though. My, oh, for you sure. Are a fine well, nobody steals the show from Amanda Donna. No. Here's to the first swallow. <laughs> oh, snap. 
Remember what I said about this being a naughty movie? I have the money to buy that now. <laughs> I could start backing campaigns again. That sword scene was dope, dude. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let, let, let's let's take a little look at that. Now, those, those of you who aren't aware of the plot, because we didn't really do much of a, of a plot rundown, uh, basically a skull is unearthed in uh, the uh, backyard of these uh, two young ladies who have recently lost uh, both parents. And uh, the archaeologist who finds it believes that it may be the bones of a creature that lived in the area because the area has a legend of a white worm, worm meaning kind of like serpent or dragon, right? And that uh, one of U Grant's ancestors uh, slew the beast. And that's why uh, they have an entire party every year <laughs> to celebrate to celebrate uh, the occasion. Let me see if I can find a pic of that. I, I don't know if you noticed, but the food on the table during that party scene—it's the most disgusting-looking shit you've ever seen. <laughs> the worms. Those are night crawlers. He's like, worms. this is the local, the local worms, and you got the octopuses on there too. A lot of tentacles. Oh, I love the octopus, but yeah. The octopus. Yeah. Oh. Is fun. Throw that shit on. I'll make some octopus fucking pokey. I'll fucking make some octopus kebabs with some. Uh, oh, like cream sauce. octopus is shit. If, so. it has, if it has tentacles, if it has tentacles, it needs to stay the fuck away from me. You just gotta slice it real quick. I, I wouldn't call it a phobia. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a phobia, but I really don't like. Swimming. I got, I got yelled at at a Chinese restaurant because I I got the uh, barbecued octopus, mm -hmm. and I took the tentacles and stuck it in my mouth and just pretended like I was Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> I like, cut it out! <laughs> cut it out, you eldritch! I put the it tentacles in my mouth. Are, <laughs> the tentacles are coming out of his mouth. They're over his mouth. Right. <laughs> Like a mustache. I used to smoke awesome. those motherfuckers at my last job. So, yeah, this is uh, uh, the archaeologist, meaning you grant the local lord. He's just just moved into the to the uh, family estate. And, uh, yeah, they're, they, basically it's a tradition for his family to throw a party for, like, the uh, town, for, like, the community, as kind of like a reverse uh, housewarming party. And uh, we get told about the uh the legend of his ancestor uh fighting a uh a, a white serpent which is represented by a big old puppet and so they're singing they're dancing there's like a there's like a uh i don't know or like a rock folk band uh and you know he has a sword and you know pretends to cut it in half and yeah of course if this is a horror movie, that that thing that's part of the local folklore, yeah, that shit's for real, right? And <laughs> and this and this is no uh, no no exception. Now, where the movie gets awesome is where Amanda Donahoe, who is like a devotee of the cult of a cult that centers around this monster, like a religion. And she's like a serpent woman, vampire kind of. Yeah. Right. Like, she's a she's a, 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 a she was a Roman too. Um, right. Yeah. So she's, she's like. like yeah. She's a yeah that's, she was a. Uh, I think she was like. She like worked for a priest in Roman times or something like that. I have to go back yeah, and rewatch yeah, yeah. it. But she's definitely Didn't a Roman. Did she date Caligula? Yeah. yeah no. Go. No. She has, yeah. she has a bust of the of of, of her lover. Yeah. That's what it was. In one of the scenes. Because you know uh, the um, the archaeologist is digging, and so he's finding shit from like a particular uh, time period, mm -hmm. and uh, of course you know the Romans were were all, were all over there, and so yeah. he finds not just uh, that that skull, he also finds some finds this mosaic, right? And it also, uh, it also makes it look like they were they. Okay, so from what I gathered out of it, she was a demon that was working with Satan to help crucify Jesus with the Romans. 
that's what I got out of it. Because I mean, that's what you see oh. in the vision. I mean, it's it's blatant, you know. No, well, I really don't think that's the case personally. The way I, I always say. interpreted it is that it's just you know Christianity came and uh, got rid of all the pagan gods, right? And that was one of them. That was one of the pagan religions. Remember, you see the Romans running in, yeah, and they start like graping the uh, the devotees of the cult, yeah. yeah. Right, so I th I think that's what happened personally. Little, or, uh, I got the more, feeling uh, like like uh, like God was a fluke in this movie. Like it was like he wasn't a real guy. It was something that happened that fucked all the other like all the all the other demigods up. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, and yeah, it didn't seem like because not like they never had any religious artifacts that actually affected the snake people. You know. It wasn't like right. vampires where they put a cross up. Yeah, like, eh. right. That's true. Here, yeah, here she is in a very memorable scene uh, where she steals the skull, and before she goes out the door, she uh, spits uh, like venom yeah. on the on the cross. And when you touch this venom, you trip, 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 trip. You go on a mm. acid trip, mm. and we get all this wild imagery of like impaled nuns. Uh, uh, here's like a, a like uh, a guy crucified like Christ with the uh, with the serpent monster crawling around him. And well, I want to uh, read the book, man. I want to know like exactly. Yeah, like, I would do. Where, where she I was came thinking from. about that. Check that out. You're right. Yeah. I wonder if they got an audio book version of this. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, and, and it's 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 crazy yeah. too because you see a lot of like for me like I got. I got a lot of like Dagon vibes at the end of the movie, like the finale. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, that was and like Dagon, wasn't it? This is exactly proto Dagon because like it's it's Stoker and he predates, you know, HP. You know, so I was like, yeah. damn, I wonder if he was reading, you know, this. In fact, that's the exact scene from Dagon, like at mm -hmm. the end of Dagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, this uh, like like I said, I haven't read the original story. And watching this again and enjoying this as much as I did uh, has made me think. It's like, damn, it's just like, yeah, it's I need to gangster, check that dude. out. It's pretty gangster, like Snake Pyres, dude. <laughs> it's like, I mean, when you think about it, they're just, a, they're just as scary <laughs> as vampires. Awesome. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, it's great. And all it's that like, symb symbolism in this movie was just yeah. crazy, dude. Like, scary like, yeah, well, yeah. There yeah. she is in a, on the box just, with the big strap just, on. It's just fucking gangster, like gangster in oh, every yeah. way. What's you know, it's Stoker and I don't know, pretty cool. Like definitely, this is a this is like something that could be remade as many times as Dracula could. It's Dude, that this was so cold. original. You know what I'm saying? I'm like so because back in the day, this was not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> it's a hundred percent like you know satanic and stuff. You know, even you know, I mean, from from that way, you know, the way yeah. they would see it. Yeah, um, there she is on the far left, uh, Amanda yeah. Donahoe. With the uh, with the with the with the uh, strap on of death, Shit, you pregnant. better be careful. Like pregnant hole with that thing. YouTube, <laughs> yeah, man. That's the idea. That's the idea. Uh, yeah, she um, she intends on doing things to uh, her victim before uh, feeding her to her uh, to her god. Well, you I remember like that the... one that one scene where she uh, she took the, took it and stuck it up the chick's skirt to see if she was. Yeah. Pure, yes, I guess. Yeah. Yes, yes. To see if her hymen was intact. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, evidently uh, her god uh, only wants uh, virgins. Oh, you know, like like that's something new <laughs> or, right. or exclusive, right? Of he course, doesn't know what he's yeah. missing out on because virgins are highly overrated. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, what up, Maiden? Good to see you. Um. Let me play another clip. I wish I had a clip of her slithering across the room because that's got to be like my favorite moment in this movie. But Brian's hitting his jack material right now. <laughs> oh. How many? How many? Uh, how many works of horror did Joker write? Fuck, not that many. Right? Uh, I, I wrote think he did. By, I wrote a short. I read a short story by him called The Squaw. Okay. Um. Uh, Dracula's oh, Guest, which is another short story. Yeah, uh, so that. I think he wrote some short stories, but uh, but he didn't uh, he didn't have much of much of an output. Um, 
you know, needless to say, even if, if even if he had some other work that was good, it's just so overshadowed by the by Dracula. Yeah, exactly. That, that is uh, Dracula. Right. And the funny thing is, is like Dracula is not even a good novel. It's not, actually. Yeah. I didn't even think it was a good movie, written. to be quite honest. Like the original Dracula movie with Bela well, Lugosi. The, like, yeah. Well, oh God, it's a bore. Just my it's opinion. Bore. Yeah, you know, the, I just like. The, yeah, I don't. I, don't I mean, I like Bram Stoker, the, the the Coppola one. But what I, what I do like about that one is just a big fucking castle, like when <laughs> and some of the some of the stuff in there, um, the creepy, you know, like the, the charm. I like yeah. the Abbott Costello's version better. That's oh yeah, yeah, like. that's where I grew up. Abbott Costello <laughs> meet the Wolfman. Uh, oh yeah, that was awesome, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was my first entryway. That in um. And, and Mel yeah, Brooks is Young Frankenstein, which has nothing to do with it, but still. Oh, that like, was my favorite one, dude. I still love. I and love I like him. Movie. I like Peter yeah. Boyle as Frankenstein. He's fucking dope. Now I love the original Frankenstein movie, like Mary yeah. Shelley's Black and White, and then Return yeah. of Frankenstein's Monster, all that kind of stuff, dude. Like I'm a yeah. sucker for all that stuff. Bride is my favorite. Oh yeah, Bride Bride is so favorite. good, dude. Yeah, yeah bro, but no, nothing beats that. She nothing fucked him that. so hard, dude. It's so fucked yeah, up. She did, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> Bob's laughing yeah, and, there. And, <laughs> and Carlock said like he didn't like the fact that the monster spoke, yeah. but I I can't imagine that movie any other way. Me and neither. I remember a kid, yeah, fine. yeah, being excited Dude. then for Son of Frankenstein because I thought, oh, he starts out he's like a baby, so all he can do is grunt, and then uh, and the and the second one, Bride, uh, he's taught how to speak, and right. then in the third one, he, he could be he was going to be Mary Shelley's monster like I, think, quoting I think frankenstein was the perfect horror movie monster you know what i'm saying like yeah oh, perfect, i don't know awesome. to me anyway like he's the yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. horror movie monster yeah, yeah, yeah well kind of it kind of is for life man for life like a real uh, fucking you know, monster. I, uh, yeah uh, um you know uh it's favorite type of monster werewolf favorite monster oh, absolutely. frankenstein yeah. monster yeah Cursed yeah. monster has to be werewolf, right? Because it's so tragic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, like, well, you can be a good mean. person, a bad person. It doesn't matter. When the full moon hits, you're a killer. You know? Yeah. Yep. yep. No killer, no filler. Yep. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is this is a scene where uh, you Grant gets attacked in his home by one of the snake vampire. Dude, people. that was so good when he sliced yeah. her in half. Yeah, let's yeah. fucking metal dude. Yeah. yeah. Fucking metal. Do it again. Get the head, get the head. <laughs> oh. And he hit the drum. And he did a beat. Right? All in one swing, bro. When she's on the ground, like squirming, that's yeah. my favorite part oh, yeah. of the movie because I it love looks that. so real. This like it badass. really does. What's up, Jay uh, Dollar? For, the, for those who are Yo, what up, Jay Dollar? For those of you that are curious, uh, what kind of a sword this is? Tell us. This is known sword. as a lanceknecht sword, also known as a great sword. This was the sword oh, that was used by German mercenaries in the uh, in, in uh, medieval times because it was a, it was a weapon that was really good at fighting uh, people that were armed with spears and pikes. Right. And uh, yeah, we need to and have evidently, in the show where like there's like a fucking badass like weapon where we're like 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 a buzzer goes off or something, and you come and you start dropping fucking mad fucking <laughs> shit about the weapon because you're you're a weapon smith, you know what I'm saying? No, well, I mean, I just more you know, I'm not a smith, but but uh, I am a collector. Oh, um, oh yeah, man. he's a swords enthusiast. Yes, yeah, I love that shit, man. I like yeah, guitars. Yeah, I like... Brian likes his swords. That's yeah, yep, <laughs> yep, yep. yep. Um, the uh, evidently the way you use this as a weapon, I actually uh, got to see somebody in HEMA where like this weapon is a specialty and a big wooden version of this. The way you use it is you keep it moving constantly. Oh, wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, you have to be a big motherfucker to be able to do that. Right. Well, what you do is you <laughs> let the weight of the weapon do the work. What to say. Like a right? shovel kind of coming down a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this guy was just basically going, swinging it, swinging it, swinging it, turning, swinging it, swinging it, swinging it, swinging it. 
where you, like you know if you were surrounded by a, a street gang and you had this like that's what you would want to do right mm -hmm. um yeah it's it, it's 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 bitching and it's a great special effect too let's take a look at that shit together for a blade heavy Get the head. And the music. Did you see the way she jumped at him too with her fingers and everything? It was like perfect, yes. dude. It was like classic. Right. Yeah, that was awesome. Before I forget yeah. too, dude, that's fucking Wayne Manor from, from Batman. 1989. Maybe uh, very similar. No, check out um, the exterior. Check out the exteriors, dude. It's it. Is it oh, really? really? Yeah. Holy it shit, is. Dude. That's like, awesome. I'll, I'll lay money. I'll bet five dollars. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't have receipts, but I bet you five dollars. That's it's the exact same uh, castle or, that they that they filmed uh, Tim Burton's 1989 Batman. You know, Matt's for real when he's willing to bet money. I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um. Well, yeah, I mean, like the Hammer movies were shot in, in specific locations, but they know what all those locations are. They've all been thoroughly identified. There's yep. one place in particular was used in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and it's now a hotel. And should I find myself in England sometime in the near future, guess where I'm staying? Uh, <laughs> I don't care how fucking expensive it is. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> she, she's the scariest character in the movie, in my humble opinion. Just like, and then yeah, all of a sudden, with her, so. like my favorite, you know? Well, because she's just like pure savage, uh, like animal. <laughs> oh. Nightmare fuel. For Ooh, sure. I love that music. See, there's a stairwell right there, too, where he was uh, walking up there with the uh, basing her. Hey, you might be right, man. It's just shot differently. Yeah, I mean, locations are reused frequently. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And they filmed yeah. a gang of movies at that place, too. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, everybody, uh, if The Lair of the White Worms sounds like the kind of movie that you want to watch, go check it out. It is... Uh, you can watch it free. Uh, there's a link to uh, watch it for free, uh, unedited, of course, uh, at the uh, at the bottom of the description. Um, fuck. Uh, what can I say? I just I, I I hadn't seen this movie in years, and uh, you know I, I I always loved this movie. I always really had a fondness for it, mm -hmm. but it had, it had been a while, and uh, it was just. Uh, really great to uh, revisit um I, th I think i told you this the um this is the only movie that when i was a kid i uh i rented it at the video store i watched it uh i i hit the rewind button right rewound the tape and then pressed the play button again and sat down <laughs> and watched it again you know a movie for me that i did that it's the only movie i really remember doing that it was uh, total recall i remember i was watching my uncle rob he's like I think we gotta watch that again. And I was like, yeah, we gotta watch that again. <laughs> that was Rocky a good movie. Oh, that's an awesome movie. <laughs> the Blu-ray of that's great. Uh let's see. Oh yeah, that's a really interesting moment too. Where uh they find the watch that belonged to the father, and then it seems like the hands have turned into a snake. Oh, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> it's just and then, and it's a toxin too, you know, with the you know what I mean? Like the hallucinations and stuff. Um, yes, man. There's so many cool things about this this, this character and this uh, the story, man. And it's man again. You'd like to Ram see Stoker. more, right? Yeah, I'd like, like to see buddy, it re remade. Yeah, definitely. The archaeologist that got turned into a, what a snake man. At, oh, at the end of the movie. Oh man. And yeah. I, oh, at the end of the movie, another thing. Like, there's a lot of stuff I keep forgetting. I love how he just spoilers. He just fucking kills the thing. He just throws a fucking grenade at the motherfucker, and that's yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I like that. Rough. Like you could kill the shit. But I was wondering where did he get the grenade? Where did oh, he get man. the grenade from? Did he just have one on him, or 
Wiley Coyote or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And I was, I was like, wait, whoa, where did he get the gr- grenade? I was like, that's crazy. But anyway, it may like, have been mentioned should, in passing in the in the dialogue, but I don't know. Yeah, you yeah. should have, um, like, you should uh, just chain his friend up and sell a toxin as like a hallucinogenic to a bunch of druggies. Right? <laughs> yeah, but that looks like a bad trip to me. That's like that's like that's uh, the, the the venom in this that you trip balls on. I have a feeling it's it's like the brown acid at. Uh, Woodstock. Oh shit! <laughs> Maiden says, "Does rewinding the face melter scene in uh, Raiders count?" Most definitely. It's just Most definitely. Funny. Yeah, face melter. Oh yeah. Oh. But re- but rewinding scenes and rewinding entire movies is like, <laughs> yeah, this is you know a, a little it's bit pretty of pretty dope a scene though. There. Pretty dope scene. Oh, fucking awesome scene! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So everybody, go check this out. It is. I think it's dope. Uh, Matt, what's your what? What would be like your 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 summary? Oh, two horns way up, dude! Like fucking. Um, there's, I mean, some of the I, I, again, I'll say like people that watch Twin Peaks and David Lynch. I think uh, that haven't seen this, they would fucking really love it. You know what I mean? And and, and if they like horror yeah. movies, they're gonna really love it. But that's what I think. Um, and a lot of like the Lynchian shit and stuff that I didn't really I didn't really like too much. But I do like Twin Peaks. I mean, just something about it was. It was kind of throwing me off a little bit, and I'm just thinking, like, damn, I, I, I know it's supposed to be psychedelic, and it was a time and whatnot, and maybe if I watch it a few more times, um, I like that, but I would just, I think that uh, it could be done better, in my opinion. Um, but uh, as far as those as that goes, but dude, the the like everything we discussed about it, you know what I mean? The the St. George rifts, the the archaeological finds. Uh, she's she's very similar to to Count Dracula in a lot of ways, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> But way different. I mean, this might have been the first, like, let's say again, Snake Pyre type movie, which is, they're totally original. I love and, that and, term. And what they do, snake, you know, so. snake pyre. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a that's a perfect that's a perfect title for what these things are. We haven't yeah. seen that, and like we could have, like it could have been well, something new, that's you know, from dust till dawn. The first from dust till dawn. Yeah, had no, snake yeah. pyres in it. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. Salma Hayek. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They had a host of different ones in that movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was oh, they're all demons and all kinds of shit. I love that movie. My but, favorite um, part was the nut gun. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Sex machine? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A full Savini? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Savini, awesome. yeah. yeah and fucking Amanda Donahoe, man. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know if you guys found her as smoking hot as uh, as, uh, as I do. I thought but she was uh, perfect. Perfect for the scene. She, I think she, like, when I see her, I'm like, damn, she she could be, uh, you know, like Wonder Woman, Catwoman. You know what I mean? Like, I got the, like, look at her, you know? Uh, definitely got the, the Catwoman thing. vibe. Yeah, definitely. It. Definitely, yeah. dude. Imagine her in like the with the you know from Arkham Arkham Asylum or Arkham City you know, like that one with the goggles. Yeah, dude. I mean, she got the leather on right there. Um, yeah, dude. Definitely, definitely recommend Two Horns Up. Uh, this is a total non sequitur, but I uh, back in the old days on Alt Dot Horror, the Usenet group, there was a guy uh, named Coyote, and uh, he was telling us a story. About how he slept with Amanda Donahoe. Whoa! Crazy. The thing is, homeboy is gay. <laughs> and the way the story went was, he was like with his boy, like in bed with his boyfriend, and she knocked on the door, and she's like, "Oh, I'm sick. Can I just like snuggle in between you two? And they're like, "Yeah, sure." And so she got in bed with them, and yeah, and like we were all pulling our hair out. <laughs> Oh, how dare you! I'm about to say oh, it's yeah. probably like the last scene of this movie, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, the, she comes in with the big old like strap on, you know? That's what yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and then all these shots of like white tubes and that sort of a thing. Yeah, like the serpentine subliminal. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes. A lot of subliminal stuff in the trips, you know. Um, oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, it's very similar to the uh, acid trip sequences in uh, Altered States. Right, then in come the uh, Roman soldiers. This is assumed to have sort of happened, I think. That uh, they were uh, having like their pagan ceremony 
to this God, mockery of uh, the cross and of the crucifixion and everything. And the uh, Roman soldiers like run in and like grape them and and uh, kill them. Yeah, this is not this is not your average horror flick for sure. For me, I, I got that like you know that was uh, that was straight up like she's a demon, dude, and like the the Romans were in cahoots with the demon and the snake, and those were Jesus's followers down there, like nuns type, you know, and they were going after him. That, oh. That's that's how that's how I got out of it. Like she's this old demon snake bitch, you know what I'm talking? And she oh yeah up yeah with well we know that she's you know, like and that, that she's ancient. Baby. Yep. Yeah, but that she was wrong. wrong. That's why. I, I'd say I have to read the book, you know. I think she's like older though, dude. Like older than Dracula, you know. What was like, the name oh, for of the sure. book? What's the name of the book? The same name as, as the movie, or was it different? Yeah, well, that's the thing is, uh, I don't think it's a novel. I think it's a like a short, short story? story or a novella. Uh, oh, okay. Right. That's so cool. it's like something that you would find in uh, an anthology. Although I have like dozens of horror uh, story anthologies, and I've never come across it. Mm, and. Crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm curious, man. I got, I, I want to check that shit out for sure. Uh, anyway, thinking, I'm gonna call it a little bit of a uh, early night tonight. Uh, sure. Matt, who do you have coming up on uh, at the gates? Oh, uh, we got um, we got um, uh, the comic Sway guys are gonna be talking about the book Junk Man, the character that was um that Preston yes the cover for in their first book yes um, yes oh, sweet. So if Preston, yes. you want to shoot on over, if you're not doing anything, that'd be cool, man. <laughs> I'll send you the link. Um, they're talking about yeah, that. Yeah, shoot me the link too. Ashkins. I don't know if I'll hop in, but maybe I will. Okay. Who is okay, it? because I'm I'm sorry, like I never I never hang out on your stream. It's all good. It's all right. Six five six. That's what you said. Yeah. Um, well, this Boy. is it's it's them. It's gonna be a it's it's actually the a comics way. There, it's a campaign that they're um doing a couple of ash cans. I think they're doing two ash cans on this one. So, we will be talking about that have a few guys on there so that also reminds me brian on the 28th me and matt are both gonna be cutting out on here because i'm gonna be on OTG. yeah okay. pop's coming on we're gonna be talking about the the roku and then you could go over there oh, too yeah. you know we we'll just move it oh, over yeah. if you want I'll, I'll try to at least be in the chat um no i know how, but, how you, I'll sometimes it's fun to be in the chat you know yeah um what movie should we watch next does anybody have any ideas can i, can I ask one question of, 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 of question Preston, Preston been he's been with his head down working the whole time. Can we see what you're drawing? Bro? Oh yeah, duh. Oh, I gotta paint a page. Oh snap! Yeah. Man, oh, this is why I do this, y'all. This is why I do Jeez, this. Oh, awesome. oh, guys, he sent <laughs> me some. He sent me some of the uh, six gun gorilla. I, I seen one of his. Oh, I, seen the the I seen that, that cover, man. That's just did fucking... you run? Yeah. Did you run the campaign already for six gun gorilla nine? <laughs> Or you? Yes. Well, no. Nine and ten. Uh, nine and ten, ten. plus uh, the, the uh, second trade paperback. There's a lot of people backed the first trade paperback. Yeah. That was issues one through six. So the uh, campaign was for issues nine and ten, and which are which are going to be included along with uh, issues uh, seven and eight. Okay. Right. So that's how it's going to go. That's how, that's how it's, so nobody's going to have to buy shit they already have. Right. You're probably going to have to do a second chance campaign or not. Oh, dude. So that that's, I that's, can drop the cover. <laughs> dude, dude, of course. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's, that's been the plan. On Twitter, dude. That cover that's been the plan. On Twitter is fucking balls out, bro. I'm just saying. Fucking <laughs> for sure, man. For sure. Well, Brian gave but me yeah, a couple of ideas and I was like, oh, I like the idea where you, you're kind of looking up. The airship, yeah. yeah. Look, Gorilla plus plus Zeppelin. How yeah. plus Preston? How could that go wrong? That's that's a that winning combination great. right there. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god! Man. Yeah, it looks really really sweet. Uh, the reason I closed the uh, Indiegogo campaign was because fuck Indiegogo, and the oh, campaign that's is right. yeah. walled anyway. 
Yeah. But, you know, they never sh shadow banned me, I don't think, but they shadow banned a lot of my fucking friends. Yeah, and make yeah. sure when they asked you, you know, the little screen comes up, why are you, like, why are you closing your campaign? Because... Because you fuck censorship. Because you're fucking. Because you're shadow banning my friends. Did you try uh, fund my comic? Did you run anything? That's on there? gonna be the uh, relaunch. Okay. That's gonna be the relaunch. It's What's gonna be. The it's gonna be on the I'm endorsing or recommending right. Now. Yeah. Until, but I mean, I have to find a place to live first. Piss me off. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm no. Fund my comic. <laughs> also, Tequila Sunrise. I still haven't gotten a script for that. Yeah. Oh uh, no! I sent it to you. I'm pretty sure yeah. I did. I think I, I know. I, I know. I uploaded it to like to, to like the my uh, Google Drive. I don't know if I sent you the link or not. I think yeah. I did. Yeah, I think, but hold on, let me see. Let's, let's see. But I can always. Uh, yeah, I I basically. Uh, yeah, it's like the entire script for the for, for the entire first issue. It might That's be in, thing, in, Yeah, it might be mixed up in the thread. That's probably what happened. Preston, did you know that there I was send a it to you again. Gorilla? Did, did you know there's a six gun gorilla crom crossover story? No, no, I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote it. And then it didn't get drawn. He wrote it. <laughs> yeah, this, oh god. Yeah, like the, yeah, there's the yeah, that ended up being like a fiasco and there are politics and gay ops and shit involved. Uh but it was going to be six gun oh, gorilla. There is a story. But there is a story. Yes. And yes. It no, 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 there is a story. And uh, yeah, it's basically like Six Gun Gorilla teamed with uh, Chainsaw Champ, uh, Buckshot Bonobo, <laughs> like, a, like an entire like A team. <laughs> and uh, I wrote it to be just just a goof, and uh, I thought it was pretty funny. But some other people were not so happy. <laughs> so, I got it. okay. This is what I got. I got Southpaw. Uh, yes, South Southpaw. The alternate opening, yes. Um, the the crow stained glass, yes. And slag virus in the Warriors of the Apocalypse. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, just look through that stuff. Those no, are that's all what I'm saying. That's what I got. I don't have the uh, okay. tequila sunrise. Like okay, whatever. all right. I'll I'll send I'll send that to you. I think and you lied, bro. I'm also working on something called the Maniac. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, what'd you say, right. brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust is always so good at that, man. Uh, he's he's so busting your balls and you didn't my eyes. Oh, man. But yeah, no, and, and, and any suggestions for what, what 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 we should watch next week? Uh, actually, a Santo movie. Santo? Santo. Santo. Dude, those movies are so good. I remember right, now, aren't they? like, watching it. I'm like, oh, dude, I seen this when I was a kid. I was like, yeah, these are great. Yeah. Well, Santos like, the shit, man. Yeah. We, Did you we guys... have covered one of those, haven't we? Plus, yes, we have. Yeah. It also vibes with Tequila Sunrise, right? Like, well, Tequila, tequila Moonrise. Tequila Moonrise. Tequila Moonrise. Is Moonrise. Like, I love yeah. letter to those movies. Yeah. Yeah, I really dig it. Yeah. All right, maybe we'll do an El Santo. Maybe we'll do like another, a, 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 a different Mexican home. Now they did have one that I was checking out on there called Werewolf versus the Yeti. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a like Paul Nashie movie. That's a, like, yeah, that's it's actually awesome. That movie's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's completely insane. It's completely completely oh. fucking bonkers. Oh, it's, it's nuts, dude. It's, <laughs> it's great. Is it is it on Tubi? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's on Where, yeah. Werewolf versus the Yeti. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Because we haven't done well, we haven't done a Nashi in a while. Uh, we did do uh, uh, Werewolf Shadow, aka Valpurgis Nacht, uh, aka they, Werewolf versus the Vampire Woman, which is always my favorite title. They got uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre on there. I know it's uh, been done to death, but do they have Vampirella, the movie on there? The one with Talisa Soto? Yeah, like the one that they made in the seventies. Oh like, God, I don't. You know, I don't know. I the, here's the thing that's great about IMDb. You can go there and type in a movie, go to the movies page, and uh, it will show you uh, where you can watch it, like on streaming. Oh yeah, I love the Christopher Priest uh, Vampirella. I actually really enjoyed that. Oh, they had two movies. A the comic? No, it's a comic. Oh, okay. oh no, I'm talking about the movie. Yeah, the movie. 
Yeah, by fucking Jim Wynorski. The same it guy who drank the Return of Swamps. The same guy who wrote mm -hmm. this Return of Swamp thing. Yeah, no, that's not on any, on, on any streaming. No, it's not. No. That's, uh... Roger Daltrey's in that? Crazy. Talisa Suttle looks pretty fucking fine in that fucking Vampirella costume, though. Oh, yeah. Anybody can look really good in, those Vampirella, in that Vampirella costume. <laughs> yes, yes. Including fucking... Matt. Matt would look amazing in that Vampirella <laughs> <laughs> Presenta was a boss. Only on Tuesdays. Did you do you know the story behind that Vampirella costume? Because I love Vampirella, right? No, no, so bust it. So Vampirella, the the creators of Vampirella, they had um, they had a feminist design the Vampirella, like the the character Vampirella with that costume. Well, then they sent it to Frazetta to go ahead and refine it, right? So <laughs> Fr Fr Frazetta kept fucking with the chick and kept making the costume thinner and thinner. And thinner. <laughs> <laughs> Until finally, and it, look, it was all in good humor. Like the chick, she was cool yeah. with it, you know. And, yeah. and the That's final cool. version of Vampirella was the one that appeared on the first issue of Vampirella. Like yeah, man. That That's hilarious, dude. Yeah. That is, that is really funny because that is one of those costumes that's just kind of painted on. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> It doesn't leave exactly much. Oh, that costume's dental floss is what it is. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, my God. Hey, Preston, God. have you seen The Collector, dude? The Collector? Yeah. I, I probably did, dude. Like, if it's an we old We got to do that one of these days, man. That movie's pretty dope. It, it, it's not old. Yeah. But one one day. That, we'll, maybe we could do, like, The Collector and The Collection if they're, to, if they're together. Or one yeah. Day. It's pretty dope. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, that's one of the movies that uh, that Matt turned me on to. Like, because yeah. I just thought, like, oh, it's just, like, torture porn. Not mm -hmm. really into that subgenre. And, uh, Matt, you recommended it, and I checked it out and fucking loved it. Yes. I only watched that once and the collector once. I was like, damn, I got to buy these, and I'm not going to go fuck with them. Like, that's what I do now, like, over the past 10 years. If I see something I really like, I try not to watch it again. I'm, like, try to note it, you know? Except for, except for, uh, except for Brawl and Sublog 99, man. I watched the shit out of that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's such a fucking well, awesome shit, I don't a body yet, but whenever it pops up on Tubi, I'm gonna get in there type shit. What's up, ID oh, prices? Man. What up, ID? Um, yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen. Um, God, what was the one that was after that? The collection. Oh, you saw the collection, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. That was it. He only did, he only did two of them and, and really enjoyed it. I'm like surprised they haven't done a part three yet. But then yeah. again, it took like forever to get uh, a sequel to The Strangers, mm. right? Like that, the sequel to that came out like ten years after the uh, first movie, which is perfectly fine. I'm not, I'm not complaining, you know. Check it's, out Scariest Monsters. To, like, take a break. I'm looking. Let's check out Scariest Monsters in America. It's a Tubi original. It's just like a fun little, like kind of fun little documentary, you know, on like cryptid monster demons. You know, they jump yeah. all over. It's a fun little kinda, thing, you know, with a bong toke or a beer or something, you know. I'm kind of um, disappointed in uh, Shudder. Uh, I still haven't Shutter's got it. Supposed to be the, it's supposed to be, like, I paid for Shudder. Yeah. And yeah. Because I thought it was going to be this great horror. Like, like the big motherfucker, know. yeah. <laughs> Tubi blows them away, dude. Blows them away. <laughs> right? Hands Blow. down, blows right? them away, dude. Tubi yeah. It's not even close. No. It's like, not even close. Over them, dude. I, I mean, look. Eric I have heard of Shudder blows Shutter. them away, dude. If I can irritate the shit out of you, to be honest, Dave, because I wasted money on fucking shit. Well, I just I wanted to get it for the creep show. I was about, I'm gonna get it for the creep show one day, and I'm gonna I'm a binge him, and then that's this it. Torn Here's the thing. Show. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm a Joe Bob Briggs stan. Dude, one you know they got. You're gonna have to be a, a Joe Bob Briggs uh, host uh, on another. Yeah, show, I know, right? right? They got. Oh my god, I love that dude. Oh, and now I couldn't find this anywhere else but Tubi. Right? They got that movie to like it's a oh. it's a it's a japanese like uh kaiju movie oh, shit. right oh. and that's the only place they got it dubbed is on oh, that's tubi. Dope. maybe we can like, watch that next week torn it, you can't <laughs> find it anywhere except for tubi you know and it's it's a brand new movie like it's pretty new it's about two three years old you know but it's like insanely like it's not like a popcorn like godzilla movie this is scary as fuck yeah. Mm. Damn, I want to watch that shit. Sounds I don't like know fun. why more, like, like I'm, I'm, I don't know why more people don't 
watch Tubi or are, are aware of it. Because the thing Most is, is if I put a link, if I put a link uh, in the description, that's to a YouTube video, more yeah. people will fucking click on that than they would uh, a Tubi link. I think because yeah. they think that they have to create like a profile. Or something. No, no, you don't need to create anything. Tubi. You, you can just. Fucking dope, dude. Love Tubi. Yeah. Uh. Tubi's shit, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. If I man, if I had man. like a IP or something, I would I would try to get with Tubi though. Like if I was gonna Absolutely. make a movie, like oh man. And I'm gonna get out of here like, though. To guys. be or not to be, you know? Yeah, exactly. Right it's to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Um I'll i I'll see you next time and then I guess we'll figure Peace out. Peace out, brother. Take right, good seeing you, man. All right. See you guys good journey. Right. Good to Peace. see you, Mark. My, Matt. 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 Good to see you, man. <laughs> Later, dude. See you later. You take it easy. I love that dude. Oh man. Okay. Uh, whew, I definitely need a break. Oh, at least my toothache. He hit me up a little bit. I want to talk. What was that? Go, ahead, go get some deep, whatever. But hit me up a little bit. I want to talk to you. Okay. All right. Preston, good seeing you, my 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 brother. I'm a oh, cotton mouth. I got a juicy. I don't have a juicy mouth. I got a juicy. Gotta get. Gotta get juiced up. Uh, I got this. I got this. Thanks everybody for watching the horror movie club. Thanks for hanging out with Brian, Preston, Matt, and myself. We love you. We appreciate you. And what else can I say? Peace, Thanks. love, and metal. Entertainment Group presents the Madness Comic Network with original programming and additional comic related content. Yo, Pops Van Zant here. The Madness Comic Network is evolving into the Madness Roku Network. We're taking our stuff to Roku. We're joining great channels like the American Horrors Channel. We're taking our stuff over there, guys. We love it over there. You're going to love what we bring you. We got some great shows, all kinds of different stuff. Come join the madness, yo. Madness Roku Network, right here. Peace. <laughs> Civil War was America's bloodiest conflict. Over half a million died to preserve national unity. 
When the war ended, Confederates like Harley Brogdon headed west, shooting games with the army and gambling. When a card game turns deadly, Harley shoots in self-defense, killing the card sharp who threw down first. Wilfred Knorr, the card sharp's wealthy father, will stop at nothing to see Harley hang. Harley flees to Cobb's Gap, an old silver mining town at the foot of the Rockies. A remarkably peaceful town, especially after dark. But the sheriff harbors a dark secret, and no one dares go into the mines anymore. Cobb's Gap is full of secrets. People speak in hushed tones of something in the mines. Something worse than their cursed sheriff. Something even the Indians fear from the deepest pits of hell. Every secret will be exposed. Bronze Star. Order your copy at bronzestarcomic.com. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we add more. Visit CB4K.